Hi, I'm Pemba Gelji Shirpa. I'm from Solukumbu district and I am a certified guide of uh, International Federation of Mountain Guide Association and I am a certified instructor with the uh, uh, Ministry of Culture, Tourism and Civil Aviation. Uh, my parents live in Karikola, that's in the Solukumbu district region. My big brother and then other second brother, they are working in the big mountain. Uh, when I was very young, as I uh, went to monastery, and then uh, I studied on monastery five years, and after that, when I was 14 years old, I uh, I left my monastery and I started as a porter, and I did uh, uh, two years uh, porter in the Kumbu regions. Uh, let's say I went to Mera and then Everest Base Camp, and then beside that I went many other. Uh, uh, trekking areas and after that I got opportunity to working uh, assistant Sherpa continually and then one time when I was uh, 18 years old I got opportunity to climb Mount Everest as a assistant supporter of uh, Cook so after the expressions uh, all the clients uh, they give us the really good feedback and that feedback uh, motivated me to uh, you know that uh, doing training or the, all the clients are saying uh, I that uh, my performance was really good on the high altitude after that uh, I came to Kathmandu and I studied uh, mountaineering training from the Nepal National Mountain Guide Association and Nepal Mountaineering Instructor Associations And I started from uh, basic introductory rock climbing, basic mountaineering training, advanced mountaineering training. I became a really good uh, guide. I uh, developed my skill and knowledge a lot. And after that, I started to guiding on the big mountain, especially in the Himalayas. When I started uh, mountaineering and trekking, that times the condition was mountaineering condition was really good and a lot of snow on the mountain, really good compact and not avalanche hazard. But now that times very few people climbing on big mountain, especially summit days, and the weather was really good, uh, not many incidents, and people are you know focusing on their safety, like not many frostbite uh, case says. But nowadays, you know, the mountains are getting very dry due to the global warming. That's why the nowadays situation are getting a little bit worse. So coming days, hope we can minimize this kind of, uh, you know, the dangers on the mountain. Most of the people, they, are, they want to climb big mountain, especially Everest, without knowing and then without preparation. That's why they lost uh, their life on a big mountain, but they never realized this before climbing. So the before climbing big mount, any 8,000 meters mountain on the Himalayas, they have to prepare many things that they have to train uh, physically and then mentally, which is a very uh, technical parts. Like they have to take a basic course of uh, technicals, and then after that, they need to climb other several few uh, 6,000 meter mountain, like uh, you know any any kind of 6,000 meter mountain, and if possible, better to climb other on 8,000 meter, which is more easy. Either Manasulu, either Choyu, or either Akungagua. So this kind of mountain, if they climbed, so they know what kind of equipment applying on the airbrush during the climbing and how to apply the devices are on the rope and how to fix and how to set up. Thank you, Pemba, you are the best.
Oh, slowly, slowly. Always front point properly. Yeah, slowly, slowly. <sighs> Little bit push. Yeah, rest. No, it's it's. You have to hang. You have to hang, hang. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You know how to do the rappling, right? Yes. If you travel from down, yeah. again there is big crevasse oh, up, yeah. you see? Yes. Just best way is, oh, we go reach. down, oh. we go down, yeah. and then here is the stravas, and then this big crevasse, there is two, up oh. and one down. Yeah. We can we can arrive up, ah. and we can go and directly then, up. Uh, and then we travel still left. Still up, yeah. If you go from here, we have to uh. climb up long. This is very important and then uh, they have to spend few uh, months uh, on the mountains uh, to acclimatize, you know, to add up and then uh, familiar with the, that environment. But nowadays, most of the people, most of the clients, they want to climb like very fast due to the uh, lack of time. You know, above 8,000 meter is, let's say, it's called dead zone. From the safety, they have, uh, they lost their life due to the lack of knowledge. They are, they passed away on the way after the summit, way down, most of the people they pass because they don't have enough oxygen, enough lighting, and enough technical uh, knowledge. That's why they don't know how to descend very fast and then safe way. So, so that's why they got uh, this kind of problem on the big mountain. So, who wants to climb the big mountain? They must know everything about the oxygen, lighting, technical part, and then they have to climb uh, other several six thousand meters and then one eight thousand meter. If they climb this kind of uh, mountains, they are really safe to climb the big mountain. You summon it, but don't forget, returning home is the most important thing you can do.
from Mount Everest. Beside the mountaining and trekking journey, I involved many rescue, you know, the uh, search and searching missions like uh, in the Amadabla and Kanjanjanga and uh, Manasolu and uh, of course Everest. I dealt with many uh, clients and then Sherpas uh, who are working on the mountain. I had to run there and then to help and support them and uh, rescue down. The beside the rescue, I used to do the social work in uh, my village. In my village, there are 115 uh, Everest summit climbers. Um, they got every year few problem in the big on the big mountain. So I started to uh, give the training to my village climbers and young climber, and then we build it associations. And after that, I donate my land to that associations. Beside that. I built a uh, few, uh, you know, the Buddhist money statues uh, for the elders, uh, uh, men and female, uh, to meditate and then to pray and to get the blessing for them. And and beside that, I also explored the canyoning uh, sport in Karikola and a paragliding sport in the Karikola. That paragliding sport was the first paragliding flying and test in the Everest regions we did. I want people to know me uh, as a hardworking person and then uh, if you want to uh, become certified IFMGA mountain guide or if you want to climb the big mountain you have to come through the training and then uh, you have to gain your knowledge about the big mountain and then keep practice and then keep things positive everything is possible so uh, remember me if you need any help or any suggestions i'm really happy to give you the suggestion and you know uh, feedbacks so this way hope one day we can climb together on the big mountain we can reach on the top of the world thank you so much